Baada ya kongamano la FIFA jijini Zurich nchini Switzerland, rais wa FIFA Gianni Infantino alitangaza marufuku iliyopigwa Kenya na Zimbabwe kushiriki kandanda ya kimataifa. Tupate nafasi tuzungumze na wakenya kuhusiana na uamuzi huo. Kenya kupigwa marufuku ni kwa sababu uh, FIFA wako na clause moja. Hiyo clause yao husema kuwa hakuna interference yoyote kutoka kwa kwa serikali. Kukiwa kukiwa na shida yote na na, na, na shirikisho ambao wako ni affiliate wa, wa FIFA ikiwa serikali wanaona kuwa kuna makosa hapo wanafaa kupitia kwa FIFA kusudi eh, au wawe wa, wa, wa punished lakini sasa serikali kwa sababu Kenya pia sisi tuko na sheria zetu eh, Kenya tulifuata sheria za, za land uh, za FIFA tukaziweka kando kwa sababu of course hii federation iko kwa land ya Kenya inacheza Kenya na imeregister katika imeaffiliate kwa kwa sports uh, ya Kenya so nafikiri hiyo ndio imechangia kutuweka mali tuko kwa sababu FIFA wanasema kuwa uh, kuna kumekuwa na government interference na FIFA wako na hiyo clause inasema kuwa government hawafai kuingililia mambo yoyote ya mpira i think uh, imekuja at a wrong time but all in all Lazima sisi Kenya tuangalie tujue ni nini imefanya tukabaniwa. Na tukiangalia haya masuala ya ki, ki, ya kandanda ama ya michezo yetu kuna zile vitu ambazo zimefanyika serikali imejua lakini kuna ile njia inge handle. Kwa sababu ile kuiondoa ofisi ya KFF kwa kwa ofisi nafikiria ndio aswa swala kuu ambalo limekuwa concerned na FIFA. Sisi kama Kenya tumepata ipigo kubwa sana. Juu tulikuwa tunatarajia tu participate kwa hizi games za qualification za kombe la dunia. Lakini kwa vile sasa tumepigwa marufuku hatutawahi onekana huko na hiyo pia itafanya ile pira yetu pia didimie. Sasa kama nchi tumepata ile yani impact kubwa na huenda hii itachangia pakubwa sana kufanya mpira ya Kenya ififie ama ididimie ama irudi chini ama ataishi. Mimi sikubaliani na FIFA kupiga Kenya marufuku sababu makosa ya mtu mmoja imeadhiri haipaswi ay, yaadhiri watu wengi vile sababu watu wengi wanatengemea zile mpira, wafanyabiashara, wachezaji pale. Kwa hivyo mimi sikubaliani kabisa. I really think that it will affect our country in many ways. For instance, we will not be able to interact with the with the other with other countries when it comes to sports so i really think that uh, it's something that uh, should be reconsidered and then when it's reconsidered uh, the government can consider um, uh, leaving fkf to be uh, independent rather than interfering with the with the activities of the fkf kwa kusema kweli mpira yetu kenya bado iko chini sana hata ingawa tumepoteza hiyo chance ya kushiriki lakini hata kushiriki bado haingeweza kutufanya tufuzu manake Kenya pira yetu imedidimia miaka mingi sana. So hata hivyo kama tutaweza kushiriki hiyo haingechangia mali pakubwa sana manake sisi wenyewe kama nchi hatujazingatia hii mchezo hatujawahi kuzu talenti yetu ili at least tufike kwa nchi zingine kama zile za West Africa na hizo nchi zenye pia tunaona wananawiri pande wa mchezo hapa Afrika. Makosa yameshafanyika Amina Muhammad amepata kuwa kulikuwa na makosa hapo lakini hiyo makosa si kwa federation mzima nafikiri ni mtu mmoja ama mtu mmoja alafu na neck members watatu. Uh, mimi personally kama kama football administrator ambaye alikuwa hapo na pia former football player ningeomba kuwa serikali wakae chini na wale ambao wamehusika wale wako na makosa wawekwe kando alafu uh, to chart the way forward kwa sababu unajua uwezi kupunish familia mzima sababu ya mtoto mmoja to let us just swallow our pride let us swallow our pride a mistake has been done na najua itakuwa ni kama aibu ikiwa eti Amina atarudi chini najua hivyo ndo vile ofisi yake inaangalia but hakuna makosa Amina amefanya i mean uh, there's always a mistake tunaweza kuwa tumefanya makosa federation wamefanya makosa siju kama Amina alifanya makosa but for the sake of football in this country people need to sit down tuangalie makosa ilikuwa wapi tu na hiyo makosa hiyo kusudi mpira irudi mali ilikuwa mm -hmm.